we have those cold temperatures already and starting to watch some snowflakes flying as we head through this evening. Right now, six degrees at Lake Metagoshi. Here's a closer look at those snow showers as they move through the area. We do have that band closer to Minot. Now we've got a second band starting just south of Dickinson and Bismarck. But here's that closer look at that. As this all pushes to the east, these are going to stay very light as we head through the rest of your evening and into the day tomorrow. We're expecting around an inch, maybe two inches total as we head through the next day or so, especially in those darker blues just to the south of Minot. Now here's a closer look at that chance to see two inches of snow with this system as we head through tonight and into the day tomorrow. Not very likely to see that two inches, so if you're in Max Garrison, down towards Underwood, there's your best chance to see that two inches of snow for tonight and into the day tomorrow. Most of the week is going to stay very cold. As we head into your Thanksgiving Thursday, could have a few more very light snow showers, mainly to the southwest. But stronger winds throughout the day is going to be the big story with that cold. High temperatures in the teens, those morning low temperatures near zero degrees, either side of zero. And it is going to feel a lot colder with those wind chills expected to be in the 20s and 30s below zero as we head towards the weekend. We do get rid of that wind as we head into Friday. Pretty quiet on Friday other than being cold. As we head into the weekend, we do have a couple more chances to see some very light snow showers again, under an inch total as these move through the area very quickly. Those clear out for Saturday evening. There's that next round coming in for Sunday morning along with that area of high pressure. So once those move out, pretty quiet way to start next week. Now we've been talking about how cold Thanksgiving is going to be. Here's a look at some of those forecast lows. Again, in the single digits, could be either side of zero. But here's some of those record low temperatures. Teens and 20s below zero air temperature. Now, we aren't going to have air that cold, but it will start feeling that cold. Here's a look at those wind chills as we head into Thanksgiving Thursday morning. Teens below zero. Even colder as we head into Friday morning, 20 to about 30 degrees below zero is what that air will feel like. Even into Saturday, things start warming up just a little bit, 20s. We'll keep those 20s below zero as we head into Sunday morning as well. Now, Thursday is about the only day with a stronger breeze as we head into the end of the week and your Thanksgiving weekend. If we take a closer look at that, there are those cold temperatures making their return Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Again, a few very light snow showers, not accumulating much, but we do have some relief on the way as we head into Monday, even Tuesday. Those temperatures returning to the teens and even a few low 20s, still well below normal, but it is going to feel warmer than the weekend. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for that, Megan.